Hi right, everyone, we're going to talk about the uh, compound miter saw safety operation procedure. Again, the first five are all the same, but I will still go over it. Operate with only instructor's permission, and after, you, after you've received instruction, uh, remove any jewelry, eliminate loose clothing, and confine long hair. Make sure all guards are in place and operating correctly. Always use proper eye protection, the most important of all. And use materials, um, all materials should be inspected for defects such as warps, knots, and foreign objects, such as nails. Uh, you never cut a piece of wood with a nail into it. Make, make all blade changes and angle adjustments with the power supply to the comp and miter saw disconnected. Anytime you do maintenance or any changes, you always disconnect the power supply just in case. Install clean, sharp, cross-cut cross -cut type blades in a comp and miter saw. Uh, you don't have to worry about that, but uh, it's just a rule of thumb when using the comp and miter saw. Make sure the rotation of the blade is such that the teeth cut, um, sorry, Make sure the blades are such that the teeth are cutting the rotating towards the fence. Uh, so basically the blades have to rotate uh, in a clockwise manner and when it cuts it's cutting into the wood. Um, it wouldn't cut towards the, uh, away from the wood which would cause it to uh, bounce back from you. Let's install a new curve plate if the one if the current one becomes damaged or cut basically it's uh, it's a protection mechanism. If it becomes damaged or or excessively worn, you should replace it. And uh, we'll I'll demonstrate that when you uh, when you uh, do the demonstrate uh, see the demonstration. Hold the stock firmly against the fence and the table, and keeping your fingers at least six inches away from the blade. So, you know, generally I tell tell students to hold their hands shoulder width apart and never any closer unless you absolutely have to. Um, allow the blade to rev up to full operating speed before. Letting the blade enter into the stock, very important. If you go into the wood and it's going very slow, it's not going to cut properly and it's likely to cause damage to the machine or you might hurt yourself. When finished, turn off the compound mutter saw and wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before, before uh, leaving your work area. Disconnect the compound mutter saw from the power source before beginning any cleanup procedures. And that's basic operation of the compound mutter saw. Thank you.